There was a little fellow I knew, I still know him, but he's in the hospital, has been in the hospital for many years. And the doctors say he'll never be out. But he's still very much alive and with me everywhere I go because I sing the songs that he made up and taught me. This man's name is Woody Guthrie, and I'd like to sing a whole batch of his songs. Because when I got out of school, he taught me some things, some things that I never could have learned out of books, that I never could have learned in college. He, he persuaded me first to start traveling. I said, well, if you don't have money, how do you travel? He says, use the rule of the thumb. I think here you go like this, <laughs> but it, in the States it's with a thumb. So now I'm going to sing a whole batch of songs written by Woody Guthrie. Some he wrote for his friends, some he wrote for just because he had to get something off his chest, and some of his best songs he wrote for his children. I'm a gonna write myself a letter. I'm a gonna daub myself with glue. Stick some stamps on the top of my head. I'm a gonna mail myself to you. I'm a gonna tie me up in a little red string. I'm a gonna tie blue ribbon to climb up into my mailbox. I'm a gonna mail myself to you. When you find me in your mailbox, cut the string and let me out. Wash the glue off of my fingers, stick some bubble gum in my mouth. Take me out of my wrapping paper, wash the stamps off of my head. Pour me full of ice cream sodas, tuck me into a nice warm bed. I'm a gonna wrap, I'm a gonna, I'm a gonna, I'm a gonna, I'm a gonna wrap myself in paper. I'm a gonna dog myself with glue, stick some stamps on the top of my head. I'm a gonna mail myself to you. Song. Here's another one Woody wrote. Any parents here, you can try this with your own children. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air and hold it up right there. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger on your nose, on your nose. Put your on your nose, on your nose. Put your finger on your nose and see if it grows. Put your finger on your nose, on your nose. Put your finger on your chin, on your chin. Put your finger on your chin, on your chin. Put your finger on your chin, that's where the food slips in. Put your finger on your chin, on your chin. Put your finger on your ear, on your ear. I've done this with children. You see a thousand little fingers go. Put your finger in your ear and leave it there a year. That's how that verse goes. Put your finger on your cheek, leave it there a week. Put your finger on your toe and leave it a day or so. Put your finger on your finger, on your finger. Put your finger on your finger, on your finger. Put your finger on your finger, 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 on your finger. I'm not going to fight anybody. I just figured I might as well make myself comfortable here. Woody Guthrie and I were once singing for some trade union people in Oklahoma City. I think they were oil workers. It was a small little meeting, and the, uh, we were just passing through, and the organizer asked if we'd sing some union songs at the meeting. And then the organizer leaned over to us. He says, I hope you can get the crowd singing as some people come in the back and we don't know who they are and they may try and break this up. Uh, so Woody and I did our best to get the crowd singing and they did sing. There were women and children there as well as men, the real family affair. 
And the people that had come to break up the meeting never did break it up. We found out later that's what they had thought they were going to do. Uh, next morning, I found stuck in a typewriter the verses of a little song, which has since gone all around the world, I believe. Woody dedicated it to all the union maids and all the little girls going to grow up to be union maids. There once was a union maid, she never was afraid of the goons and the ginks and the company thinks and the deputy sheriff that made the raid. She went to the union hall when a meeting it was called. When the company boys come around, she always stood her ground. Oh, you can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union till the day I die. You don't have to sing on the chorus if you disagree, but if you want to, help me out. This union maid was wise to the tricks of the company spies. She'd never be fooled by a company stool. She'd always organize the guys. She'd always get her way when she asked for better pay. She'd show her card to the company guard, and this is what she'd say. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union till the day I die. Now you girls who want to be free, take a little tip from me. Get you a man who's a union man and join the ladies' auxiliary. Married life ain't hard if you got a union card. And a union man has a happy life if he's got a union wife. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union till the day I die. A few years after that, Woody and I were approached by the ladies' auxiliary of the CIO to write them a theme song. Woody said, what's wrong with the union maid? We wrote that one for you. Oh, they said, it's... It's not dignified enough. Besides, it hasn't got the words ladies auxiliary in the chorus. <laughs> so Woody wrote him a song. Oh, the ladies auxiliary is a good auxiliary. It's the best auxiliary that you ever did see. If you need an auxiliary, see the ladies auxiliary. It's the ladies auxiliary mm -hmm. Woody wrote songs about all the different parts of the United States that he visited Pittsburgh town Oklahoma, California, Oregon. He wrote a song which is still sung by the school children in, along the Columbia River in Washington, Oregon. Let me see if I can shift gears here so I can sing it to you. Green Douglas firs where the water cut through Down her wild mountains and canyons she flew Canadian northwest to the ocean so blue Roll on Columbia, roll on Roll on Columbia, roll on Roll on Columbia, roll on, Columbia, roll on. Your power is Turning our darkness to dawn Roll on, Columbia, roll on You see, in those days, there was a big battle on to decide whether it was okay to build some government dams on the river. And the 
private power company says, no, 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 no. But those were the days of the New Deal, and they went ahead and built a whole batch of the biggest dams you ever saw on the Columbia River. Bonneville Dam, Grand Coulee Dam. At Bonneville Dam, there are ships in the locks. The waters have risen and covered the rocks. Shiploads of plenty will steam past the docks. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Your power is turning our darkness to dawn. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. On up the river is Grand Coulee Dam. Biggest thing built by the hand of a man To run the great factories and water the land Roll on, Columbia, roll on Roll on, Columbia, roll on Roll on, Columbia, roll on Your power is turning our darkness to dawn Other great rivers lend power to you. The Yakima Snake and the Klickitat too. Sandy Willamette, the Hood River too. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll 